morning, Mr. Chair and the rest of the PAC. Good morning also to the attending uh, prospective bidders. I'm going to present the project for uh, purchase and installation of communication equipment for Lawag International and Kawayan Airports. So the CAAP through the CAAP corporate budget 2024 for the site acquisition, procurement, and implementation of various airports and uh, equipment intends to apply the sum of 72,993,717 and 28 centavo being the approved budget for the contract to payments under the contract for the, for the project. So the components of this project uh, includes two airport. Uh, each has the uh, the allocation of ten and seven VHF transmitter and uh, receiver, together with one lot of antenna system and accessory for the VCS and uh, ATC console. Uh, corresponding positions are allotted for each of the airport. The WAG has four and Kawayan uh, is allocated three positions. So for the training and FAT, uh, this is allotted for international airport, one lot. The AT system, one lot also for the WAG. And the VLS for each of these airports. So the CAAP now invites bids for the above procurement project. Delivery of the good is required within 365 calendar days. So bidders should have completed within 10 years from the date of submission and receipt of bids a contract similar to the project. So the description of the eligible bidder is contained in the bidding documents in section two. So bidding will be conducted through open competitive bidding procedures using a non-discretionary pass-fail criterion as specified in 2016 IRR. So bidding is restricted to Filipino citizens, sole proprietors, uh, partnership or organization with at least 60% interest or outstanding capital stock belonging to citizens of the Philippines and to the citizens of organization of a country the laws of regul or regulation of which grant similar rights or privileges to Filipino citizens. So prospective bidders may obtain the further information from CAAP you know, between 8 to 5 at back, uh, back office. So a complete set of bid documents may be acquired by interested bidders starting 25 July from given address and website and upon payment of the applicable fee for the bidding documents pursuant to latest guidelines issued by GPPB in the amount of 56,000 pesos. That's VAT inclusive. Okay. So the procuring entity shall allow the bidder to present his proof of payment for the fees to be presented in person during the uh, bid submission. Okay, so it may also be downloaded free of charge from the website uh, of the field jets and the website of the procuring entity, not later than the submission of their bids. So CAAP will hold the pre-bid conference now. Okay. So bids uh, must be duly received by back secretariat on or before 16 August at 9.30 a.m. Late bids shall not be accepted. So all bids must be accompanied by a bid security in any of the acceptable forms and in the amount cited in ITB Clause 14. So if, uh, bid opening shall also be on the 16th of August at 9.30 at the given address below and via online conference through Google Meets. So bids will be opened in the presence of bidders representative who choose to attend the activity. So CAAP reserves the right to reject any and all bids declare a failure of bidding or not award the contract at any time prior to the contract award in accordance with section 35.6 and 41 of the 2016 revised 
IRR without thereby incurring any liability to the affected bidder or bidders. So, sa upon payment of the bid documents, bid bidders must provide their respective email addresses to box secretariat. So, all communication, including but not limited to notices, resolutions, replies, and among others, will be sent to the email address provided by the bidders. So, date when such email was sent shall be considered the date of receipt of the bidder for purposes of complying with the requirements under 9184. So, bidder must look or check the PILJAPS website, CAP website, and box secretariat for any bid bulletin announcement related to the bidding. So, you may also uh, contact the box secretariat, Mr. Uh, uh, Leandro Barquez, at third floor of Supply and Procurement Building with these uh, contact details. For the ITV, okay. So the GOP through the source uh, source of funding as indicated below is in the amount of 72,993,717 and 28 centavos. Okay. So we'll go directly to the BDS. So for purposes uh, of the contract similar to the project, shall be supply delivery, installation and integration of air traffic control tower communication equipment, which were completed within 10 years prior to the deadline of submission and receipt of bids. So uh, uh, requirement for 7.1, no subcontracted portion is allowed. Prices of goods shall be quoted DDP at Lawag and or Kauaian Airport or the applicable international commercial terms for this project. So, for incidental services for goods offered from within the Philippines, but uh, are not limited to the following. So, all expenses for the processing of permits, licenses, shall be part of the price schedule of the equipment. Provision and installation of cables, grounding, surge protection, and other ad additional or auxiliary electronic, electrical adapter, and other fixtures to meet operational and functional requirements. No? Prices for these incidental shall be incorporated to the equipment listed in the BOQ of the schedule of requirement to which it is primarily related. So also included are the importation licenses and permits, civil electrical engineering services and installation costs, training for the site training, project management services, as-built plans and drawing. So for the goods, offered from abroad, provision and installation of cables and other auxiliary fixtures related to the equipment uh, offered from abroad, the export licenses permits, engineering services required for design and configuration, uh, equipment installation costs, the factory <coughs> acceptance tests and training and related documents, related equipment tests, site technical training to be conducted by a certified authorized or authorized technical personnel from the original equipment manufacturer. Installation and operation maintenance and other form of manual system and circuit diagrams, equipment as built plans and drawings. So for the bid security, the following form of bid secure, uh, form of uh, security are allowed, no, the bid securing declaration or any of the following forms. Uh, if this is uh, cash or cashier's manager's check, it should be in the amount of 1,459,874 and 35 cents. For surety bond, it should be 3,649,685 and 86 cents. So, pagination is required, but it's not a ground for disqualification. Okay. So, each bidder shall submit one original print copy of the first and second component of the bid, soft copy in PDF format of the same original copy uh, is also required for submission. 
So uh, bids must be duly received by the box secretariat through the manual submission. The address for submission is the back office, Civil Avia Aviation Authority of the Philippines, Old Mia Road, Pasay City. So partial bid is not allowed. The goods are grouped in a single lot and lot shall not be divided into sublots for the purpose of bidding, evaluation, and contract award. So all designs shall be signed by the professional electronics engineer as mandated by RA 9292 and the bidder or its authorized representative. The contractor shall be responsible for securing all necessary permits, electrical, civil work permit, to, uh, permit to import, NTC, security pass, and other local permits from respective offices that may be necessary for the installation of the equipment at the site. So the cost of acquiring such permit, uh, including its processing, shall be borne by the contractor. For the additional contract uh, document, per CAAP memorandum dated 17 uh, September 2018, disqualification of prospective bidders with pending case against government in the procurement activities of the CAAP, all prospective bidders shall be required to submit the following. So certification under oath attesting that their company have no pending cases, case or cases against the government in addition to the eligibility requirements as, uh, for bidders as prescribed in the IRR. So legal uh, clearance to be issued by CAP inform uh, Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pendency of any cases of prospective bidders against the authority. For the special condition of the contract, uh, this is uh, similar to what uh, GPPB has issued except the location of the project, which is Lawag International Airport, uh, to be represented by Aristotel Basilio at this contact number, and Kawayan Airport, represented by uh, Raimundo Kafugawan Jr., with this contact number, or any authorized representative at Lawag International or Kawayan Airport. So for the incidental services, this is a template of the GPPB. Okay. So the con for the fa for the section F. The contractor supplier shall warrant the entire equipment assembly software and related integration site works for one year defects liability period, that's uh, including parts and services, plus one year warranty period on parts and services. So this is a turnkey project. Payment will be uh, after issuance of the project completion certification of CAAP. So the inspection test shall be, uh, will include the following, factory acceptance test, the periodic inspections at site, and site acceptance test. So the procuring entity or its rep uh, representative shall have the right to inspect or test the goods to confirm their conformity to the contract specification. So this, uh, this include, but it's not limited to the following, no? verification of design radio coverage test and conformity to contract specifications for communication systems, verification of available channels, design and conformity to contract uh, specification for VLS, verification of available channel design and conformity to contract specification for IP base, VCS, and consoles and the configuration requirements for continuous operation. So for the schedule of requirements, uh, as stated in the invitation to bid, uh, the details of and description of the following items are stated here. So for VHF transmitter system, we have 17 sets of 50 watts IP based VHF AM aeronautical transmitter complete with standard cable rack, antenna change over unit or equivalent, the coaxial cable and other auxiliaries. So for VHF receiver, this is the same, 17 units for both Lawag and uh, Kawayan Airport. Okay. 
So for the antenna system, we also have the following sets of uh, assemblies. Okay. For voice communication, we have one lot of four position for Lawag and one lot of three position for Kawayan Airport. So for ATIS, we have a transmitter and the ATIS system complete with workstation, the software package, the installation uh, and user manual, and other auxiliary devices. So for voice logging system, this is a 16-channel IP-based redundant system uh, with four channels shall be capable for analog channel conversion. The training uh, and uh, factory testing includes three packs for FAT and eight packs for the factory training. So the specification of uh, the project includes general requirements, okay. The equipment requirements, okay. For each of the VHF 50 watts, VHF transmitter, Uh, VHF AM trans, uh, receiver, the antenna system and other accessories, the voice communication switch with ATC console, training requirements, installation and testing, the ATIS termin or automatic terminal information service system, voice logging system. Work schedule is also required for the project. So bidder shall include in their proposal a project activity schedule for the project starting from the notice to proceed. Okay. So system support for quality plan, maintenance plan, and training plan. Documentation is also required for each of the system, subsystem. And we also have other requirements like permits, the method of working plan, and that's all. So, Mr. Chair, we open the floor for questions from the bidders. Okay. Are there any bidders present who want to seek clarification on the presented uh, bid documents, POW and uh, POR? PWG, please. May I ask? Hello. Uh, Mr. Enrique of RNS. Yes. Uh, uh, is it possible to be a foreign country? Is it possible to be a foreign country?
is it possible for a foreign company to submit a bid? Is that the question, yes. sir? Yes. As long as they have reciprocity. Yeah, under 9184, that's allowed. Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, that is allowed. I, I presume the uh, the person in, uh, responding in the name of Enrique from Rodin's Wars knows the reason, the legal reason on uh, reciprocity rule in uh, submission of peace by a foreign entity. Okay, noted. Thank you. So that's an affirmative. Okay, uh, Mr. Enrique, any other queries? Uh, my, my colleague will ask uh, something about uh, bid. Go ahead. Carl. Uh, yes, uh, good morning to all. Uh, Sir, um, I have a question regarding the uh, designs of the transmitter and receiver. So, uh, especially for the Lawag transmitter and receiver, the quantity is uh, five main and five standby radios. Uh, that does not tally uh, with Lawag's channel quantity because it has only four channels for uh, main and standby radio. I mean, uh, the four channel combiner and um, multiplexer. So that does not tally with the quantity of the radios. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, the rest of the transmitter and receiver not included in the installation will be part of the spare parts. Okay. Okay, so, so only for um only four main and four standby will will be connected to the uh, combiners and uh um multi couplers um is that it yes um, yes Bob. okay 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 this is noted uh ma'am i will uh take note of this all right uh mr de Vera, does that answer your queries and do you have any further uh, yes, actually, sir, uh, we we have run through with the technical specification, and uh, there are lots of uh, questions on our side. Um, is it possible to send this uh, by email so that we can explain it further? Yes, we will be accepting queries and uh, clarifications within the regulatory period. We encourage you as a matter of fact to submit them in writing so that we can appropriately also expound on the reasons uh, why these are yeah. such. Thank you. Okay, okay so um, is there a deadline for this, sir? 10 days for, prior um, to the opening, right? So that should be, when is the opening for this? 16, so you have until August. Six. Six. Oh, oh, six. Oh, six. I'm verifying. Six. Is that correct, okay. Attorney Frank? Okay, you have until August 6 to submit, and then we will appropriately act on your questions, queries, recommendations, even. We will be accepting them as well. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. All right. I think that's uh, if that is all for RNS, do we have others? Good morning, Malcolm Ong from Evercon Builders. Yes, Mr. Ong. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, regarding the number of uh, trainees and their schedule of uh, requirements, it stated eight packs, while under the specification, it stated uh, five packs. And with this quantity of training and uh, factory acceptance test uh, representative total of 13 and computing all the UNDP rate tickets, that alone will cost for around 4.5 million pesos. Uh, 4.9 million pesos excluding 
manufacturer's cost for training and fat, excluding visa, OCM, and VAT. So we would like to clarify how many. Yeah, we will raise a bid bulletin for that uh, correction. But uh, are we really requiring that many? Because this is a international airport plus another airport, supposedly, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is Lawag and Kawayan, right? Again, how many for? Five and three. Three for fat and five for training. For Lawag and three, supposedly, for Kawayan. Ah, for fat. So, bali, walo yung for fat. Hmm. And this has been integrated in the costing, uh, Ms. Rose, yes. right? Okay. Medyo marami nga naman. Yeah, yung, I don't know, the, the budget for the whole project is quite uh, very tight. And Sige. cost of this will... Wait, uh, Mr. Ong, we take note of that. We'll discuss this with the end user if this is something that we can still adjust considering that this will anyway be i think sabay naman to no mm. so baka also uh can we request for uh, yeah. extension of uh, bid submittal since currently in europe uh, they are now in summer holidays july to august maybe and with all the voluminous documents, uh, radio coverage, map drawings. Can we request a six week six week extension on the bid submittal? Uh, yeah, Mr. Ong, as a matter of practice and policy, we do not actually we are hesitant to grant extension, considering that you know we also have to make sure that our uh, budget utilization and disbursement are attuned with the annual planning that we're having. But uh, given reasonableness of the request, if you can put that into writing, then our team will study that further and see if, if at all we're going to consider an extension, we will consider the number of days that will be reasonable for us to grant. Again, if at all, that would be the decision of the body. But again, um, as a matter of practice and policy, we're not uh, very, we're not keen to grant requests for extension. But again, we are not unreasonable. We will check. And if there are enough possible bidders who would be requesting the same, then that is something that we will be seriously considering. But again, please do uh, reduce that into writing so we can officially issue, if at all, again, if that would be considered, we can issue the necessary bid bulletin. You're, for, for the record, you're requesting for a six weeks extension, that's about one and a half month, uh, right? Tama ba yung yes, sir. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chairman. All right. Sige po, Mr. Ong. We'll, we'll consider that. All right. Any other, sir? Thank you. Other query, we will uh, write all right, we, we appreciate that. So we'll also have time to study further the request and be assured that whatever decision that the uh, back, the end user will be deciding on this will be put in a bid bulletin. So please await that. Necessarily, we will also be awaiting for your official submissions so that we can consider them. I, I understand there are three who participated. Uh, Mr. Ong, uh, you're, you're good. You just uh, submit a, an official document, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. To RNS. So there's, there's another one, right? There's another one. Huh? Phil Cox, uh, the representative of Phil Cox, do you have queries or clarifications that you want to raise? Yeah, uh, my question, sir. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, please. Question this time. No question. Uh, you know. 
Okay. Hello, uh, this is uh, Phil Gax, Abel Flores, uh, representing Phil Gax. I would like to uh, uh, ask about the uh, site inspection. Uh, will the site inspection be uh, for the two sites, Lawag and Kawayan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both. both yes, both. Airport. According to our uh, um, Ms. Rosemary Tan, yes, both. So both of them should be inspected? Yes, po. Okay. Thank you. That's, that's all, uh, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you, Mr. From uh, Phil Cox. Thank you. All right. So we have three prospective bidders. There are no more questions. We thank the prospective bidders for your participation. We will be awaiting additional submissions, requests, and recommendations. We take note of all those manifestations today. Be assured that we will seriously consider those manifestations and we will be replying through a bid bulletin, if not a reply to your letters that you will be submitting. Thanks. Thank you to uh, Mr. Ong, Mr. Enrique from RNS, and uh, the representative from Phil Cox. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you very much. You are all excused. Uh, Secretariat, please.